What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are going to be talking about how to prepare for Season 6. What are the best things to do in NBA 2K21, my team, to prep for the new season? So, tomorrow is going to be an interesting day because again, we, like we didn't see any, uh, yes we saw super packs, whatever, super packs aren't the big money maker. They're just kind of uh, extra money for 2K to make without putting any content in the game. But we um, we saw that, we know last week by the fact they re-released Super Packs on the weekend. We know last week that obviously the Friday sales weren't big. So we know that much. Um, And it'll be interesting to see tomorrow what happens with Moments cards, whether they put Moments cards in the game or not. But I think since the fact they put in some big Moments agendas... I don't really think that we see moments packs. And again, I did three of these agendas in one game, so it wasn't too bad. We are like eight and a bit K away. <laughs> There'll be less than 24 hours to go by the time I get D-Rob. It's going to be shocking, lads. It's going to be shocking. But um, yeah, basically, 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 um, we know something big is coming if they don't put out moments cards tomorrow. Let's just say that much. And also the fact that they broke their game mode trying to prep for the new season means i'm expecting something quite big and before we get on to the view guys are new to the channel subscribe we're trying to 240,000 subs by the end of this month it will be again it will be absolutely absolutely crazy if we could hit that number we're going to be somewhat close we're going to be there or there about hitting it by the end of the month it's but it is again going to be close so if you guys like my team content like learning about the mode this is the best place for it but anyway now let's get on to the video so the best thing to prepare for the mode. So first of all, if there is anything you need to finish out, whether it be the D-Rob grind, I reckon if you're within 20,000 of the D-Rob grind, try finish it. If you're on 130K plus, try finish it. Other than that, it's gonna be tough to do it in a day. It really is. Actually, you could probably do 30,000 in a day. If you really wanted to, you could probably do 30,000 a day on some of the easier ones. But any more than that, just there's no point because you're probably unless you're you play it 20 hours you're not going to get the card unlimited if you're not in the opal if you're not in the pink diamond or opal tier there's just no point and especially because like is wiggins that much worse than maxwell i don't think so um i just don't see there being much of a point in that um don't open any packs including super packs just don't open packs and then whatever packs come out on friday trust me everyone's gonna open those packs they are not the best packs to make profit um or to get bang for your buck out of and in terms of the triple chat cards if you want kermit tr try and get kermit don't spend too much time because again there's no guarantee of ever getting any of these triple chat cards which is not an ideal thing to be completely honest the fact that there is no guarantee whatsoever of getting these cards um so if you want to work towards page because i do reckon we see a dark matter card in these boards i reckon we see a dark matter card being added in or a best, a worst case scenario, we see a 98 overall Opal, which is still going to be a beast. And things that you don't need to worry about, spotlight challenges, you don't need to worry about these challenges. Complete them at your heart's content. They've said that the spotlight sims are always going to stay in. Um, the mo the weekly challenges. I mean, if you're a huge fan of like Cabro, um, Aaron Baines, or one of them, complete these challenges. If not, just leave them. There's no point. I would strongly advise you guys to do the MJ challenge for the Hoff badge. I just couldn't care less. Yes, the Hoff badge could make me a whole bunch of MT. I'm just not bothered playing a challenge. <laughs> like, it's just sheer lazy. I might go and do that, but it's just sheer laziness for me why I haven't. I might go and do that later today, but if I was to give you guys advice, the first, the first advice, the first thing you should do every season is complete the signature challenge. It's the first thing you should do. It's one of the easiest ways of making MT. I'm just... I'm just stupidly lazy. And it's not even just proper laziness, it's just dumb laziness. Like I'll complete um half I'll complete the um domination straight away or not domination spotlight same straight away and then leave that. So cards. In terms of what is gonna be added in, we have to take a little bit of a look at what was added in the last time. So like we had a promo pack and I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna predict the promo again because this season we saw flash then the week after flash we got a promo 
We got Flash, then we got Promo, then we got Retro, then we got Idols. So, we're either going to get Flashback or a Promo. I wouldn't be that surprised the whole glitch team, the whole glitch theme. I'll try to pronounce my THs. Um, if the whole glitch team is like um, adding glitch cards into every set rather than making a lot of sets flash, but you just never know. Maybe we see like an Age of Heroes type thing. This is what we got the last time. So, on launch, we went Emerald. We had a Sapphire to, to a Diamond Evo card. I reckon we probably get Ruby to Pink Diamond. We got, in turn, we got one free Amethyst, one free Ruby. We had Ruby as the lowest card in packs. I think we start having Amethyst as the lowest card in packs from this season onwards. And the end of March was the last time we saw Ruby in packs last year, which is Dante DiVincenzo. I think we're not very far off seeing Amethyst as the lowest player in packs. And that might happen Friday, but it will happen this season. Um, in terms of exchange rewards, I don't think they're going to be in any way relevant. Because they, these cards have all sucked. And they're not even good for limited. They just suck. Um, the other rewards, we started off at Emerald. I wouldn't be surprised if we go to Sapphire this time. Because I think we start, we're start. we going to have a Dark Matter level 40 reward. And then I think we're going to have, for example, um, the equivalent of Mark Price being uh, an Opal. Again, I think it's going to be the level 40 award is going to be Point Guard Simmons. A lot of people have a lot of other suggestions. I think it's going to be Point Guard Simmons. Um, there's going to be a token marker award. I don't think... like That only affects a small percentage of the, popular, of the like player base. Because not many people are at that tier in terms of tokens. Um, the Opal tier. But the one card that I think is going to have a huge effect on the market. That's Obviously, the cards impacts. But of the free cards, the level 40 card is going to be irrelevant. But... I think whatever the new domination card is. So as you guys know, we have two more dominations to go. Like in terms of lifetime agendas, there are five, nine, four stars. So we've got two more dominations. Like we're 180 stars off completing domination, I'm pretty sure. Or 198, sorry. Um, so there's going to be two more dominations. So I reckon domination this season. If they, leave, if they don't have domination this season, it's going to be a long time before there's other dominations. So... And my prediction for Domination, I reckon tomorrow we see a whole n new 900 cards that are going to be added onto the auction house. Because if you guys don't know, in most years, March slash April is the time that you are that most people complete the collection reward. And I'm pretty sure Beast Street Bully has every single card in the game. And he's on like 3,000... Is he on 3,100 or something? Like he's not even close or he's not even on 3,000. Is he on 2,900, I think? I don't think he's even close whatsoever to getting Jason Tatum. And he's like 1,100 off. So I wouldn't be that surprised if 2K add 900 cards into the game tomorrow, pre, pre the new season, to preload them onto the game. I wouldn't be that surprised if we see a current series 3 domination, or current series 2. I wouldn't be surprised if we've got 20 current, 21 current, then 21 current season, series 2. Where we see the likes of upgraded Lamelo, a lot of upgraded players, which will be kind of kind of interesting. I can see that happening. I think if there's a 50-50 chance of it happening, like if I was to put money, I wouldn't put money on it. it it's that much of a 50-50, but I'm going. I have a feeling it's going to happen because it's the only thing that makes sense. Because if they wait till next season. No one's going to care about a Dark... No offense, but no one's going to care about a Dark Matter Jason Tatum. No matter what they do to him, nobody is going to care about locking in 4,000 cards for that in May. So if 2K don't make him attainable soon, no one's going to care about that card. There's too many matters already. Um, and in terms of uh, what cards I think I would advise you guys to sell... I don't know. It's always a tough one suggesting things to sell. Because again, I don't keep too many cards in my collection that have much value. Small point cards might be a might be a bad share to have. Like so for example, like if you have a Steph Curry in your collection, I know he's going down he's going down consistently in price. But like the big problem is is that if what we think is gonna happen happens and we start seeing a bunch of tall point guards, like Steph Curry is just gonna be alive. And much people want to say, yeah, small point guards are useful. Have you ever come up against a post-hooking Magic Johnson? 
Once you once you experience that, you will never say small point guards are usable again. Like Wall is like the smallest I would like look to use if I was playing this game competitively. The smallest point guard I would use is Wall. Like with Luca with Magic Johnson, and you know what card I think I would advise most people to pick up. One of these guys, I would I would personally I prefer Bonga. Like Bonga is a really nice player. And he's only around 3k MT. Just to have on the end of your bench, because if there are if the tall point guards are as OP as we think they're gonna be, you're gonna need some tall point guards to counter them. A bonga is nice, and what is a really underrated player is a Reggie Theus. Like I've already got Bonga, so I'm good. But I'm gonna pick up a Reggie Theus myself. I reckon we do probably get a nice counter. Um as far as tall point guards go. I reckon if they do release a god tier one tomorrow, um we're going to We're gonna need they're gonna probably release a, a much cheaper, like good card, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna pick up a Reggie Theus because he's like 4,000 MT. Um, if you are saying who do I prefer, Reggie Theus or Bonga, I definitely prefer Bonga. I know a lot of you guys are gonna prefer Reggie Theus though, just because, I mean, he's a, he's a more complete player. He's most definitely a more complete player in game. But basically what you're getting with him is you're getting a point guard who is a moderately good interior defender and he's six foot seven so someone like him for example if for example 2k decide they want to release a point guard lebron tomorrow if 2k release a point guard lebron tomorrow and everyone's running point guard lebron and magic like yes you can use luca to match up to them but you're going to struggle height wise and then if you have a smaller two like a lot of these guys are going to be running Reed Hall 2 guards as well, so it's difficult to change matchup. But Reggie Theus, you got a 6-7 point guard. And yeah, his 3 ball's not great, but it's passable. The big thing is, though, is that he's got a decent wingspan, is 6-7. And again, comes at like 39 golds, including clamps. Does he come at range? I could have swore he came at range. He doesn't. Either way, though. Either way, Reggie Theus is good. A lot of people are going to really like him. But again, for me, they're the no-brainer option. The no-brainer option is to throw Bonga in your team. He's again Bonga, six foot eight, good animations, and you can put range on him. And I love set shot fourteen. So that is what I would probably suggest to you. Just get a couple of tall point guards. Do not pay more than five k. By the way, if Bonga shoots up to over five k or Theus shoots up to over five k, just wait. They'll go back down. Do not pay more than that. But that's just a a kind of weird tip because I think this season is where the likes of Steph Curry just don't get used anymore. Like last year, when you saw more bongas being run on competitive teams than Goat Steph Curry's. Like you'd run, like a comp player would run Amethyst Bonga last year over Goat Steph Curry. I think stuff like that are going to happen again because we're going to be seeing more and more out of position players and height is going to be more and more of a factor, especially on current gen, especially on current gen. Because I am telling you right now, if if someone wants to run Magic at the one, um, let me just say Malik Seeley at the two. He's six eight and a good post hook. Um, small forward, I don't know. And like Wes, a power forward and center, Demantis Sabonis. They just run a whole team of guys with Hall of Fame Pro Touch or Hall of Fame Deep Hooks and Gold Pro Touch or even Gold Deep Hooks and Gold Pro Touch. You are, if you have a 6-3 point guard, you are getting two points scored on you every possession. Simply put, every possession, if someone knows what they're doing. So, and also they can drop step you in the post. Like it is gonna get to that stage where people will start abusing, mis abusing uh, the smaller players. So I would strongly, strongly advise you guys to stock up on getting some tall players regardless of your budget. So honestly, what do I, what is my biggest tip? is to not, my well, biggest tip, sorry, is to not spend. Like the biggest thing I can say to you guys right now is just don't spend any MT. Because, well, don't spend a significant amount. Obviously we got the glitch reality. We know it's there's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff going on this season. And we know the game's gonna glitch and break tomorrow, which is hilarious. It's just gonna be ironic when the game's glitch, glitching during glitch reality. Um, But tips, do not spend much empty if you are spending empty today stock up on 
some tall point guards to have saved them for a rainy day just in case 2K comes out with a point guard Giannis or point guard LeBron tomorrow. Because if 2K do that, all bets are off. Small point guards are now a thing of the past. Um, as well as that, if you are close to completing anything, whether it be Unlimited, whether it be D-Rob, I would advise you to finish them out. I'd advise you to finish them out if you have the time because Maxwell and D-Rob are two great cards. Obviously, I'm a couple of thousand away. I'll be doing that myself. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that is the video. That is honestly what I'm doing to prepare. Um, if there's no point even selling your cards because yes, the market might crash, but it might not. Like if 2K brings out flashbacks tomorrow, the market's gonna shoot is gonna shoot higher than it is right now. The market's at a very very low right now. Means everyone's trying to sell, so I won't even suggest to sell. Yes, the market might drop lower, but the market might drop like five percent lower. But if you wait it out, there is potential for the market to boost up like 20, 30 percent, I reckon. So in terms of like risk versus reward, you're probably best to hold on to your players. Um, but there's no point spending any MT. There really isn't because I can guarantee you whatever comes out Friday, there's going to be two, three cards on Friday that are going to make the best squad of teams. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe. Oh my god. <laughs>